All right, so the last video, basically, we worked on the, the car tire. And so this video, what I'm going to just do is we're going to start working on the potty. Now, there's a couple different ways to work on the body. I'm just going to, you guys can go to, like, the uh, different websites to get, you know, blueprints and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just going to uh, mirror what I've got here. And um, we're just going to offset this. Um, to be rough general kind of idea for for this so I'm just gonna keep it like this and then from there um, you know you can kind of build the car that you want um, so on and so forth so there's a couple different ways we can do this um, one you can do the cross-section which I did in the uh, one of my previous tutorials and from there you can add in you know a ton of different information um, another way to do it of course is to do box modeling um, and it really depends on what you're, you're comfortable with what you feel like doing that type of thing so for this particular one I'm just going to do real quick three by three by three and we're just going to um, block in the basic shapes um, actually this one is going to do something like this and we're going to do something in the center and we're just going to um, convert this to an editable poly and in edit poly mode what we can do is we can just I'm going to dump these wheels oops did not want to do that dump these wheels real quick actually we're just going to move them over so on and so forth just kind of get that in there um, being a car it's going to be symmetrical so the first thing I'm going to do of course is just delete half of it and then, of course, go back and mirror uh, that one as an instance and say OK. And now we can go back here and start forming it out. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, we're going to start forming this stuff out. So let's just grab, uh, go in here and just grab some geometry. I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to go here polygon and the first thing I'm going to do is move this out like that and that stops that automatically gives me the non-rounded version and then from there what we're going to do is I'm going to just move uh, this go to this edge here and just kind of move this over and the reason I'm doing that is so I can create some sort of a um, what do I want to call it I can basically create some sort of a, a base uh, for the grill and stuff. So I'm kind of just making this up as I go along. I don't have any car, um, anything in specific mind here. Um, and so I'm just kind of building what I think is cool at the moment. I might change my mind along the way. Um, so pretty much we're just kind of taking this and Like so, we're going to move this up, and we're just going to grab all this and move this down. And then from there, I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to move it up. And I'm going to grab this edge here, and we're just going to move something like that. And again, I'm just going to grab this and move it down. So as you can see, I'm just pretty much just shaping it out, um, starting out with my rough form. Uh, getting an idea of where my thing is going to be here. I can, I can move this up and so on and so forth. And if can you just want to, you know, you want to get your lines straight. Um, you don't get things kind of, you know, put in the right position. And if you need more geometry, so as as you can see here, I think let's move this over here. And let's move this over here and I'm going to just move this back and down and as you can see I'm just I'm getting in my basic shape and let's move this over here a little bit and sometimes you need more geometry so let's just we can either quick slice or connect um, connect is is pretty easy here just uh, oops not loop ring 
and then right click and connect and that adds a, a whole new section in there and of course you just go in and grab what you want need and start playing with playing with it and and um, kind of building building up your your idea all right once you get your body down um, your body shape then you are gonna go in and start manipulating the shapes moving things to fit better within the scenery so maybe something like this I would I would move you know my car up a little bit kind of going for that old school style style door uh, um, window information um, you know from there I can actually go in and go ring and connect and again just go in and grab the information that I need and I mean just simply rounding out things a little bit um, grabbing this and pulling this out um, and as, as I said before it's just a matter of going in shaping your your car you know to get the style that you want so once that's done you know and uh, I'm just gonna go here and uh, let's go ring this way I'm gonna just add a, a connect in there real quick um, so once you get the the different parts done you know you're gonna you're going to build up the way the engine looks you're going to um, you know is the the for, uh, foreground of the car you know so let's uh, go here grab these pull these back so as you can see I'm just I'm just rotating and angling and and you want that geometry in there you want to make sure everything's you know set to go um, and then again I'm gonna just add in actually I think we're gind to add in the fins again in the back I kind of like the old the old GTO style um, so you know you're gonna add in you know your fins you're gonna shape this out and get everything accordingly so once that's done all right what do we do after after we get that all all planned out and and worked on so I'm going to grab this and move this up uh, more straight. Um, we're gonna grab these here, pull these. Now, as you can see, if something is is a little bit wrong, as you can see, I've got a little dip in there. Um, you know, just go in, and you can angle stuff, whatever way you need it. And we can go in and fix and tweak and stuff like that. So there's a couple different. You know, I'm just just it's a couple, so I'm just quick moved it in there. So once that's done, then you need to you know indent your your hubcaps and your wheel wells and stuff like that. So you know there's a couple different ways that we can do this. The the first easiest way is actually cutting in. Um, so I'll show you with one way. So what we can do is we can just simply cut. And what I'm going to do is just cut around like so. All right, and then I'm going to go in here and cut one there and cut my rear well in there. Okay, and now when you finish this, when you when you continue to do this, make sure that everything keeps that keeps away from the end guns, as I've mentioned before. So we're just going to quickly do just real quick up to the top here. And so I'm just kind of building this information in there. And then once that's in there, just a matter of going in and connecting it. Now I could have probably connected this in here a little bit easier and then just cut. But I just want to I want that basic shape in there first. Okay. 
because you're still, you know, you can still use this to form things. You know, I can grab, I can grab this angle here or this edge here, and like this, and just a slight rotation changes that quite a bit. The other thing, don't you know, don't be afraid to remember, you know, different pieces. I'm pulling in the the windows here, so on and so forth. Um, so once that's done, once you've got that in there, and you want to make sure you complete the bottom, of course. Um, but once you can do that, what you're going to do is you are going to go in here, grab this inset, just a hair, and the simplest way to do it, once that I've inserted, uh, inset this, grab this bottom piece and delete, grab these two top pieces here and move them in like so. And uh, before I actually, I'm going to just delete these inset pieces down here, hit delete, grab these two top pieces, scale that in. And right click, and I should be able to collapse that. And I, there we go, collapse that in there. So now, once you've got that in there, you've got your, your wheel wells in there. And again, you can go in and play and, and you know, tweak um, for what I would be doing. I'd probably add in more geometry. Uh, to round it out, so I'd probably want to go in and chain for this um, a little bit. Simple chain for something like this, and you know you want to go in and play and, and manipulate and you know get it so it looks it looks pretty decent. So that's one way to do it, and of course I'd want to go in and get all the end guns out of there and stuff like that. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to you know start creating bits and pieces you know door hood once you've got that basic shape in there you can start going in and the um, so I'm gonna go here and say this is my hood real quick so these old cars were something like this and I'm going to chain for this but before I chain for it what I'm gonna do is it's right now it's an open chamfer and I can uh, check the box here um, and turn it into an open, open chamfer. And then basically we'll do a small, like a point 0.1, like so, and check box that. And then from this op open chamfer, all right, what we can do is we can go in there and uh, it actually cut a hole in there. So you can see that, that being cut. Then what we can do is just hold shift in and just that little shift give us a little bit of a Kind of an angle. Now and, you know it doesn't have to be so so flat and perfect and stuff like that. Um, and as you can see, this is what happens when you you put nerves on it. So I mean, you know, eventually you're going to put nerves. So you got to really decide what you want for, you know, chamfering and stuff like that. Um, but now that that's in there, I can you know go in and put my windshield in there and, and you know tweak things like that. Um, and so pretty much, you know, that's just the basics. Um, another way is we can put in the, this um, hood here, or this, this door or the wheel well here. Um, so it's just basically, you know, getting your, your basic shapes in there and dividing it, seeing how it's constructed. So now on, on this, I would probably go do this one and right click and say chamfer. And uh, again, it's so like so 
actually undo that. Right click, chamfer, and uh, point 0.1, and then you know, just by grabbing that in there, and, and these little pieces now are starting to separate and create what the door well, or you know, the different the different pieces of of this. So once that's in there, you know, you start getting you know more of your shape, more of your form, and you know, don't be afraid to add more geometry. So something like this, I could probably just really quickly uh, cut like that. Cut forward. And so on and so forth. So as you can see, I'm just I'm just kind of building up the different pieces here. And let's cut just kind of match your angles here. So basically what that does is I can go in and grab this, minimize this, and just build, you know, round out the shape and form a little bit. Same thing over here and here. And that's all I'm doing is just fleshing out just bits and pieces. Um, and then so when it comes time to doing, you know, windows and stuff, I've already got Let's grab this one and let's move it in. And I think I like the uh, the top in a little bit more, so let's angle that. Pull this one out. So as you can see, I'm just you know creating a better shape and so, so on and so forth. And then what you want to do is is uh, build your windows. And so I'm just going to kind of straighten this out. Just, just a matter of going in there and and I think that's a little bit too much like that. So and then um, you know, let's see here. This one would probably be something like this. So maybe, I don't know, just a little bit more in. And again, I could detach this as a separate window. Um, I can also, this is all se separated here, so we could probably do um, a quick cut from here up to here. Oh, let's do from here to over to here. And then from here over and then from here over I'm just gonna bring this and I would go in and play with that later so but now in the edge mode we can just pull this up a little bit and pull it out just a hair so that starts you know building up the door frame um, for the for this um, and then you want to start building in the attachments and other other bits and pieces so like I said this is just kind of me forming out um, so I'm gonna stop this video here and we're gonna go on to the next one and I'll start forming out a little bit more of the grill and stuff like that, show you some real quick ways to manipulate stuff like that.